This video takes you through the initial configuration and the common settings to use for AR drone flight. This is the first setup screen when you see you basically get to be told you need to connect to the internet and that will retrieve any licenses that you already got. In this particular case I've already paid for this user has already paid for the donation and flight animations and so you click OK it takes you to your Wi-Fi screen I select an internet connected Wi-Fi or you can turn off Wi-Fi if you're using 3G. Once it's connected, then you go back to your settings screen. And there you can see you get a message saying it's license is retrieved. And you also note that the donate and flight animations are now actually grayed out, so I can't buy anything there. I could buy a flight animation uh, autonomous mode on this screen if you wanted. Um, but in this particular case, I'll just go back to the drone and take you through the actual other settings in the menu. So back to the drone, you press the back button, you connect back to the drone and that when you press OK on this dialog it will take you to your Wi-Fi settings screen. So now I'll select the drone drone, wait until it's connected, and press back. Now we see we are connected to the drone, and that's all the main controls, flight animations, takeoff land, it's showing me the USB record time available, battery levels obviously, and these are the default setting screens. Right. So now if I switch to the menu, those are the menu settings, so you can change settings, calibrate, flat calibration on the ground, to, or if you're flying it will do um, in-flight calibration. And I'll just create a couple of profiles, I'll have an indoor profile and I'll now create an outdoor profile now. This is just to show you switching between profiles. Okay, right, so the default one will have been indoor because that was the first one I created. So when I press the settings menu, change settings, and you can see it's setting, editing the indoor profile settings. I won't go into Platinum Features because that's the one that you launched, the initial one you, when you launched the app, but that's where you can go back to actually change other, get other features or change your maps. Okay, so this is the initial things. You can have different control modes. Default is button press and tilt the thing. Tilt your device even. Then you've got on-screen joystick larger. Then you've got different separate configurations. And we'll go to the next settings. And then you see if I change the altitude, it warns you that there's a currently the air free flight has a bug which basically will crash if I change the out here. So I won't in this particular profile. And then the flight modes. So normal, combined yours like flying a plane. Absolute means that you can spin the drone around and it will still fly away from you. And with the compass corrected, you basically if you turn to the left or the right, then that's the forward. Okay. So these are the UI settings. You've got transparency, scale, individual scales for the text and icons and the thumbs and joystick scale. So I'll ramp the text scale down, change the icon scale. Joystick scale a bit smaller. And you can also adjust on screen colors, whatever you like. But that's for just for the joystick. And then we've got other controls. So we can say device performance, low, medium or high. And then Video recording mode, basically you can have USB, both USB and local, or just local. And when you've got the overlay, the drone information recorded, then it will basically overlay your information. I'll show you that recording later on. And we'll show the Wi-Fi link. And then just different altitude heading display modes. I should show you the list. There you go, different velocity, whatever.
you can show you basically you get me up play with them whatever you want and you can also show flight time or basically use be a recording available whatever you want to do there okay go back and we'll go to the next section enemy detection is really if you've got air drone combat and you can say whether you want to do indoor or outdoor enemies the whole color of the enemy and you can also change your drone frequency you don't want them both on the same frequency but i'm not going to take you through drone combat in this video and gamepad mapping final screen where you can map all the gamepad buttons and axes i uh, should note that you need a device running honeycomb or newer 3.1 or newer for these two mappings to work so there you go you just be click thing waggle the buttons save changes and you see you can see I've changed the colors you've got two on-screen joysticks now uh, switch to the other profile and you can see the settings here now to back to the default settings again so we'll go back into change settings or tweak some settings for the outdoor profile so flight settings I will change it this time but you don't want to go above a Wi-Fi range so you get warned I mean obviously people sometimes use higher Wi-Fi range signal boosters and that sort of thing but outdoor mode flight mode we can say absolute for the outdoor mode and then you can increase the tilt angle from a faster drone outside and we might want to change the say local recording and I'll turn it off that the, when you've got overlay turned off the local recording is actually quicker when it records in HD with overlay on it doesn't record in HD but it obviously gives you overlay information so you can choose whether you want it high HD or with extra information okay we'll save these changes and there we go. You can see the USB time isn't showing up on this setting because I said local only. And switch to the indoor. You see the USB time and flight time appear. Switch to the outdoor. You can see the icons change size, text change size. You get the idea you can use that to switch as many profiles you like and make things set combination settings whatever you're going to do okay take still capture Just on our set recording going the indoor profile which is now going to use USB recording well USB and local actually because that's what I configured it for and stop recording okay so that's the main configurations and show you switching between profiles and I'll just now show you what's actually got recorded and run up the file explorer yes file explorer and that's sort of you can see on the SD card you've got an AR drone flight folder which is firmware information logs the map so those were all basically things get downloaded the only ones you really need to look at are the video and media folders so stills get put into the media folder there's the still and that's captured at a high resolution and in the media folder in the video folder 
we've got two different ones with and without overlay. The overlay has the aerodrome video name. Video is just basically the high definition version without overlay. So yeah, you go see so with the overlay information, you've got extra information recorded, heading, altitude, speeds, the battery levels, all that sort of thing. And with the HD version, you don't get all that information, but it's getting a higher quality picture. So you can choose what you want to do. Of course, with overlay on, it requires more CPU grunt to do. So you basically need to turn the settings down if you've got a slower device. More information on my website. Thanks for watching.